know nothing of any of that. We already know the truth. Loyal to the order, I would not dream of subverting our cause. Tusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. Need I repeat myself? Loyal to the order, I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. I repeat. But I know nothing of any of that. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud lawyer to the order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud lawyer to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. The squirrel looks at you in shock. Are you sure you the squirrel turned? Magister, now speak. I am a proud lawyer to the order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. Need I repeat myself? But I know nothing of any of that. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud lawyer to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Tusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. Need I repeat myself? But I know nothing of any of that. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud lawyer to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. 
On second. Need I repeat myself? Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Stay silent, you! Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. I believe we're done here. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally the weaker specimens suffer. Come on then, Lexi. Pay up. I find I need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket. Tolls the same. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep your name out of your mouth. Right, come on. Will you quit 
dragging this on. Clean that hard legs, Z. Just hand over the gold. I will not. As you approach the blacksmith, you feel a bony hand on your arm. Fane leans in and whispers in your ear. If it would be acceptable, I have an inquiry for this human. It is of a personal nature. And if it would not be acceptable, well, that would render this entire conversation rather awkward. Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. Fane's words are quiet, but you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? I told him to slither back to his dungeon, and you can get too, freak! Fane backs away, scratching his head. It seems that didn't go as he'd expected. He is lost in thought, though. She must have said something he found interesting. Uh, it's bolted on there tight, ain't it? Uh. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. I don't need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket is the cold sight. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy fuck you up. Have you, cud? Disgusting. Just like all your kind. Disgusting like theft. Disgusting like threat. teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth. Fuck you up. Have you, cud? I don't need bread, I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket, cold and tight. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth. It's a filthy cut, you are. Have you, cud?
not. And what you're after? Come on, I find any bread, I want no trouble. teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy cocksewer. Amidst a crowd of... And what you after? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself. For those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you know. Dallas and I. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? For you? <laughs> Hell no. That's for me to know, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shove off. Disgusting like oh, a Dallas, you maniac. Right. Amidst a crowd of... And what you after? Get bent. A grin cracks her stony face. Sure thing. Come on, then, Lexi. Pay up. I find any bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket. Holds the same. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy cut chewer. <laughs> Have your cud. Disgusting. Just like all your kind. Disgusting like theft. Disgusting like threats. Great God. Will you quit dragging this on? Play that hard, Lexi. Just hand over the gold. I will not. I don't need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or brisky, both the same. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth. I ain't. Just seeing. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul. Quiet. Loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People do change, don't they? She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? For you? <laughs> Hell no. Worthy is exactly the right word. You know, someone who's proven himself might earn my time of day. Speaking of, you haven't. So buy or shove off. Have you cut? Disgusting. Just like all your kind. Disgusting like theft. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? The woman looks up as... What do you need? Huh, the hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather would have been a likelier name. 
She nods once. Clever lass, her. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what she sees in him. Oh, I don't know. She... People do change, don't they? Just hand over the gold. I will not. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. You hear a strange sound, like rusted hinges creaking and air rushing through a tunnel. A hatch appears behind the shrine. The shrine, by the looks he of it. Has spoken. Lucian has spoken. The eternal prayer. It works. So this is Fort Joy. What a crumbling disaster. An odd-looking young woman is staring intently at the statue to the divine, fingers curled rigidly at her sides. Greyish-black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours, dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Hi, who are you, some guy? I'm Losa. Pleased to meet you. I've given a few shows around Reaper's Coast. Might be you saw a poster or a flyer. Might be you even heard about the, uh, incident. Well, I was giving this concert up on Overlook Hill. There was a great crowd. They were really feeling it. But I guess it was too good. I had me a little sauce flare up. Everyone went a bit, I don't know, wild, rabid. I snapped out of it before anyone got hurt, but the Magisters caught me backstage afterwards. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Wait, you mean you don't recognize me? Ha! This is great, really. Well, it's a damn good story. Well, I was giving this concert up on Overlook Hill, but I guess it was too good. I snapped out of it before anyone got hurt, but the Magisters caught me backstage afterwards. Really? Are you hospitable too? Put it like this. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a... a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Now isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. So, how are you enjoying the joy? Yeah, same story here. Reckon in my case, they might actually be right though. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve, so you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? I'm not afraid of getting my hands greasy, if that's what you mean. What are you interested in, exactly? Hmm, I know the feeling. Don't know if you could tell, but mysticism's kind of my speciality. Let's get into the nitty gritty while we're at it. What sort of magic are you interested in? Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay... myself. Lead the way. Come on, Lexi. I find I need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket, toast the same. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy cunt chewer. <coughs> Have your cud. Disgusting, just like all your kind. Disgusting like death. Disgusting like threat. Great God, will you quit dragging this on? Clean that hard, Lexi. Just hand over the gold. I will not. Come on, then, Lexi. Hey, up. 
find any bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket. Toes the same. Your grit teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy cunt, you are. <laughs> Have you any cards? Disgusting. Just like all your kind. Like theft. Disgusting like threats. Great God. Will you quit dragging this on? Tain that hard, Lexi. Just hand over the gold. I will not. I want only bread. Come on then, Lexi. Pay up. I find only bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket. Toes the same. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy cud chewer. <coughs> Have you, cud? Disgusting. Just like all your kind. Disgusting like threats. Great God. Will you quit dragging this on? Tain that hard, Lexi. Just hand over the gold. I will not. Come on then, Lexi. Pay up. I find I need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket. Toes the same. Your griff teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy cud chewer. <coughs> Have you, cud? Disgusting. Just like all your kind. Disgusting like theft. Disgusting like threats. Grave God, will you quit dragging this on? Tain that hard, Lexi. Just this is not your business, Long Pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheap skate like this one. Griff already knows she don't like to pay her fair share. An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the Magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. And neither will I. We got a system, and it looks like you don't want to fit in.
Follow me, before more of them trouble us. I have an errand to run around here first. I'll catch up with you there later. Remember, past the kitchens, down to the beach, inside the caves there. There is a safe place. <laughs> 